All right, so today we're going to be talking about matter. So chemistry is the study of matter. So we need to figure out what is matter, what is not matter, what are those characteristics that define if something is matter, okay? Um, so take, let's take a little bit of a closer look. There are three characteristics that define matter. Um, it has to have mass, it has to have volume, and it has to be tangible. So we're going to talk about all of these things so that we can decide whether something is matter or something is not matter, okay? So first up, we've got mass. So mass is an amount of stuff. It's an amount of matter. It's measured in grams or kilograms, but it's not the same thing as a weight. Okay, so weight is um, what we think of, and that involves the pull of gravity. Okay, so mass and weight are different, so please be aware of the word choicing, choices that you're using. Okay, mass and weight are different. Um, so here's an example. Um, say missiles goes to the moon. Okay, um, on the moon, I'm going to have the same mass as I do on Earth, okay? I'm going to still be made up of the same amount of stuff, all right? However, my weight, if you measure how many pounds I am, is going to be different because pounds, weight, helps, um, helps us think about it in terms of gravity, okay? I'll even be a different weight on the top of Mount Everest than I am here in Boston. Okay, so weight and mass are very different. So start, start thinking about how are we going to measure mass. Okay, it's measured in grams. We're going to use something called an electronic balance or a triple beam balance to help us measure mass. Volume. You guys are probably a little bit more familiar with volume. It's um, the characteristic that takes up space. Okay, and it's measured in liters. So for example, I've got my Nalgene here, and We've got some measurements on the side to measure the volume of water, okay? The amount of water that's in here. Volume you can measure for a liquid, a solid, or a gas. It just will change um, because you know that gases and um, liquids take the shape of their container, okay? So it's going to be measured in liters. That's the unit we're going to use. We sometimes will use milliliters, but liters is the standard unit that we'll be using. So how are we going to measure volume? We're going to use volume displacement, okay? And we're also going to sometimes use um, things that you've learned in math class, length times width times height. But really, volume displacement is going to be a huge one for us. So stay tuned later in the week. We'll do it during lab. All right, so the last characteristic, the third characteristic for matter, is that matter is tangible, which basically means can you touch it, okay? Um, so, for example, my water bottle is tangible. I can touch my water bottle. Um, but what's something that maybe not be tangible? How about happiness? Can I touch happiness? No. I don't think happiness has mass or a volume either. Um, so happiness, you can't touch it, not tangible, doesn't have mass, doesn't have volume. It's not matter. Okay? So I want you to start thinking about what things are matter and what things are not matter. Okay? Um, so we're going to be working to discuss how can we determine if something's matter, if something's not matter. So my challenge for you is do you think air is matter or do you think air is not matter? I want you to write your response at the bottom of the page um, and that will be a nice little check for your homework. All right, nice work.